Now, more than ever, teams must come together and work together to solve big challenges, and Trello is here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format, plus tons of features that make working with your team functional and fun. With Trello, you can work with your team wherever you are, whether it's at home or in an office. Keep your workflow going from wherever you are with Trello. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Working remotely can be a challenge, especially for teams that are new to it. How do you deal with your work environment being the same as home while staying productive? At a time when teams must come together more than ever to solve big challenges, Trello's here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, has been powering remote teams globally for almost a decade. Trello keeps everyone on the same page, helping teams communicate, focus, and connect. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price bail, I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. Dumb, dumb, so listen dumb, to dumb, our podcast dumb, jam dumb, with co-host dumb, Arm and dumb, Dan. Dumb, and Bert, don't be a jerk, dumb, cause when the music dumb, hits, the funny dumb, hits and we are gonna take you down. Stick around. Make a sound, come down, it's Dumb People Town. Hey townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Pals. Population New. Population oh, I'm sorry. Stout. Oh, oh, Did you no. just say pen pals? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Love it. Ryan Pop. Stout. Hi everybody. Stouty in the house. Uh, got a new album, we'll talk about it later. But I love you, Stouty, because you don't suffer fools lightly. And I don't. It, it comes through in your stand-up, it comes through in your... Uh, Dress, attire, the suits that you wear. Mm-hmm. You don't have time for the BS. I can't do it. Can't Nonsense. do it. Won't have do you have travel wheels. garment bag? I do. Yeah. Well, to, it's right? a, it's a folding suitcase yeah. with yeah. wheels, but yeah. 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 It's not just like the little garment bag that you put overhead and then it gets crinkled. And no, no, no. no, no how, I many, can't. how many suits do you own? For Currently you? in my yeah. closet, there's probably about 18, but they don't all fit. Wow. What do you mean yeah. they don't all fit? Well, I mean, I- you got them at a young, a different day. I have to Marie Kondo that and really try to <laughs> pick up the suit and hold it and say, does this one still give me joy? To but, us, Marie uh, Kondo is a reference of Marie Calendar? No, no it's the, the woman. The woman the, who says, does this give you joy if it doesn't get rid oh, of it? Oh, yeah. that woman. That okay. lady. What's and that? I've done that with yeah. my children. I've held them up. Held them up said, to does light this, this still child give me joy? does not give me joy. Nope. Let's send this her to out, dick for out of the closet. Out of here. Uh, well, I love that you have that attitude because it's a perfect attitude for dumb people town because we believe the world's getting dumber. I don't know if you feel like in the last few years we've sort of hit like a dumb threshold. Well, I feel like with the internet, we certainly get to hear more about it. Right. Yes. So it just seems more apparent. And the gap between the smart and the dumb seems very wide. Talent gap. But I think there's a lot of us in the middle, but we just hear about those people at the bottom. So you think someone's pulling back the carpet and we get to see what's underneath. We get to see the best of the world and the worst of the world constantly. Okay, well, this is what this show is. We see the worst of the world and we try and understand why it happens. It's Mm -hmm. not mean. We don't point to it and say, look at this dummy. We We, we point to where we say, why is this dummy? Mm, why is this why? dummy? It's a Maybe different question. Maybe this dummy is correct. Right? Or, Maybe we're wrong. Yeah. We right. do explore that. So our our awesome fans send us great stories, and we have one right now. Let's we jump do. right into it. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. This is called, er, from, uh, <laughs> they call me pickles at Novocaine Brain. Just all how is sounds. that too many nicknames for a person to have? Is like, that their their email address? No. no that's Can I get a Novocaine Brain <laughs> email address? <laughs> At Novocaine Brain sent this the story to me via Twitter, which is that's how you okay. do that. So you send it the story if you if you find a story, you send it. You hashtag. You send it to uh, At Daniel Van At Kirk. Daniel Van Kirk, and you hashtag Dumb People Town. If you're the first in line, and we actually have a timeline, we read your name. So thank you. So thanks. They uh, call me thank pickles. You, sounds like a clown. They Novocaine Brain pickles. sounds like a Nirvana song. Uh-huh. You're right. Right. <laughs> this also, I feel like this story is going to be adapted into a movie. Okay. Maybe after this. Businessman Tan Huey. I don't know. Why are you? I have a Tan Huey watch. It is very expensive. Talk slower. I'm typing this into a movie as we speak. He's mailing it to himself. Fade in. Businessman Tan Huey hired a hitman to, quote, take out his competitor. That's you don't need that in quotes. Wow. No, you're they, they, you you hire a hitman. There are no quotes around it. Right. 
pray tell what business is he in? <laughs> <laughs> but but Car- the, carpet sale. Uh-huh. <laughs> but the hitman hired another man to do the job, and that is when things got messy. Subcontracting I, your hit? It happens every time. It <laughs> happens every Wait, time. Do you, it, it, do you think the guy had too many hits on his plate, and it's like, I got to farm some of this out? <laughs> it's like the Angie's yeah. list. Of, uh-huh. <laughs> I need a hitman. Uh-huh. I always thought Angie's list sounded like an Amber are, Alert. Are you the hitman? No. I, you pay me, I find you the hitman. I got an alert on my phone from Angie's list, and a plumber had stolen a child. Have but you ever it was heard? A great, great recommendations for the plumber. <laughs> Have you ever heard of an executive producer? <laughs> we don't do the work. No. We just hire a guy right. who so, can do the work. So you want a guy to hunt his head, and I am a head, head hunter, hunter to find. Boom. Head I hunter. will find you yep. the head. I will. The head. We've always said that you, like, there was a wrestler back in the day, Kamala, the Ugandan, Ugandan head hunter. Mm-hmm. How great would it be if after wrestling, he just started a like, like, like a, a job finding, finding agency for Ugandans? Uh-huh. I thought you meant a head shop. <laughs> he just starts a head shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a shrunken head shop. Okay. okay. <laughs> the, well, it's the, tiny shop. The plan eventually crumbled, and the men involved were convicted of attempted murder by a court in Nanning. I, I don't know. Gangzai? I tried. Following Zhang a trial. Zhi. I think it's Zhang Zhi. Zhang Zhi? Is it? Maybe. Z- uh, yeah, it's, what is it? G U A N G X I. I think that might be Galveston. Is that yeah. weird? Galveston, <laughs> Texas. saying that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So this is, a, uh, this is in China. Right. Mm-hmm. And the trial lasted three years. The saga of the subcontracted hitman dates back to a professional dispute in 2013. That's putting it lightly. Mm-hmm. When Mr. Wei took legal action against Tan's firm, the Nanning Intermediate People's Court said on its website, scared of losing money fighting a lengthy court case, Tang contracted hitman uh, Z... Geigen, I tried. Mm-hmm. You did. And offered him 2 million yen to kill Mr. Wei. 2 million yen, I think, is what? 20 bucks? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. If it was yeah, Japanese that's... yen, it'd be a lot more, but yeah. it's Chinese yen. Two I'm going million... to go ahead and, and request all listeners not send uh, foreign stories to Daniel anymore. Yeah, this is very this is I try. He's I fighting try. Look, through you're it. fighting through it. You're doing a good job. It's, He's it's... at his limits right yeah. now. Would what? you like to guess how much you think? Let's play. <laughs> how much we think t- this is really? Let's okay, play Dan, the Dan. Dumb People Town Currency Exchange game. How much? Just, million, just million like just like the hitman in this article, Dan is not killing these words. <laughs> no, okay. no, I'm I'm trying to. I should get Google. You should farm it out. Farm yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, do yeah, it actually. Okay, so uh, two how much is yen. Tw- two million yen? I'm going to say mm-hmm. two thousand dollars. Okay, Jay, two hundred fifty bucks. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say 20 Gs. That feels like a- 20,000. Yeah, yeah $20,000 is, is like what you would Otherwise, pay. Otherwise, why are we having this trade war with pay, China? Right. Yeah. This is what you would pay to have someone killed. 2 million yen in US dollars equals 18,400 Gs. Oh! Wow. Yes. Yes. There well you go. Well done. Yeah, well done. about what it takes. 18,000. I like how I was thinking about currency exchange and you were just thinking murder. Murder. What is a murder? What's a murder yeah. go for? What a price, what's a price on someone's head? What and you someone... did prices right. You just said $1. Yeah, yeah essentially. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm lower than all bucks. of you. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> G accepted the job, mm-hmm. but shortly afterwards asked another hitman, Mo, whose name I can't. Mm-hmm. Pronounce after well, that. Well, Mo's a Chinese Mo, name. Yeah. Mo yeah, yeah. to kill Mr. Wei instead, offering him one million yen. So he's nine. That's a finder's fee, right? Yeah, it's a nine thousand dollar finder's fee. After Mo accepted, Xi renegotiated with Tan to be paid another one million after the killing. So he was like, "I'm not gonna let one million of this yen go, go away, away. Mm-hmm. right?" I got to get back the original that two million. That I'm giving yen. away to the person I've hired. To so, so when you hire a hitman, you don't necessarily specify how the person needs to be killed. No. Sometimes, sometimes. What if do you, you say? If you yeah, watch you... a lot of uh, oxygen yeah. or, yeah. or forensic line. files, yeah, forensic yeah. files. There are all sorts of people who Make say it this look is how rough. I want it done. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you even, can't specify. Even if you say, if you specify how, like, you want it to be violent, you want it. You're not necessarily spe- telling someone, hey, use a lead pipe sure. or use a gun or don't use another person. Like, you're, you're not specifying <laughs> how you just like get it done. Make it look like an accident. Get yeah. it right. done. Just get it, get done. it done. What was the thing your dad said? You can get it fast. No, it's our uncle. Our okay. uncle Eddie had a print shop. He said there are three things, okay? Fast, and this goes for murder. Fast, cheap, or good. Pick two. If it's fast and good, it's not going to be cheap. If it's fast and cheap, it's not going to be good. If it's cheap and good, it's not going to be fast. It's so great. Pick two. 
Pick wow. two. That's so great. That's one of the best get, signs ever. You want this sign person killed? Pick two. Pick two. Pick two. Pick two. <laughs> pick two. <laughs> Which is a special we're offering at my subcontracting. You can pick For two. For the holidays. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if this is a Black Friday sale. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, remember, if you're, you're playing along at home, Tan wants someone to kill Wei. Sure. sure. I believe. Tan, tan yes. kill Wei. Tan, tan kill Wei. He hires G to do it. Tan Kilwe is the Chinese eat, love, pray, right? Yes. Tan Tan Kilwe via G. G then hires Hires Mo Mo. to do it. That's right. Tan G Mo Wei. Okay, here we go. It gets messy. (laughs) But Mo, in turn, contacted another man. What is going on? Nobody wants to do the work. He hired Yang Kang Sheng, Mm -hmm. who agreed to carry out the killing for an upfront fee. How many yen do you think he agreed to do it total? This is down the line. We're now Now, going three deep on the depth chart. Mo's got a million yen to play with. I feel like this should be on the SATs, guys. (laughs) (laughs) It's a good SAT question. If a hitman is leaving from how many yen does he pay the subcontractor Mo Mo has five hitman oranges. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Dan, I can. Or do you want to go first? You can guess first. He's got a million to play with. He's got a million to play with. How much? I I mean, I'm just going to go. He's going to offer half. He's going to offer half. Five hundred thousand yen. Okay. Which again, that seems like like what the first guy did. Forty five hundred. I think it's a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. It's more than half. Yeah. Uh, Oh no, it's not. It is not more than half. It's one million. Okay. So teach a man how to hit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give a man half. I'm going to say he's because it fell in his lap. He didn't have to do the work and find the guy. Right. So I'm gonna say he's offering him six hundred thousand yen. So okay. two thirds of it to to not have to do it. Almost. I think Mo is greedy. Okay. And I think Mo's like I can get Yang to do it for two hundred thousand yen. Okay. Wow. He's like I know a guy who will be willing to do. This guy is the guy. He's at the bar. Mm-hmm. He'll do anything. It's like yeah. he's the Mikey. Mm-hmm. Mikey he's, likes he's it. He's currently got blood on his hands. <laughs> yeah. He, he's not even gonna clean up before Literally this. Literally has yeah, blood yeah. on his hand and mixing it up with the DNA, you'll never find it. Okay. Mo offered Yang Kang Sheng seven hundred and seventy thousand. That's what I'm talking about. But you were close, Ryan, because uh, the five hundred thousand would be paid afterwards. Two seventy up front. Up front. Up front. So up front. So so Mo has now given that to Yang, which he's gonna stiff him on. Yang right. Yang Kishen then offered another hitman. No, yes. Look this is like that. the Russian dolls of I hitmen. Love it. You pull him out, and then there's a the littler guy. He, I want them all to be like descending in height. Too. Meanwhile, as this is going on, this guy's business competitor is just burying him in the yes. business, like, crushing yes. him. Here's what I like about a story like this: if 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 you catch the murderer in the act, mm-hmm. everybody thinks great, open and shut case. What? Meanwhile, the prosecutor goes, "Wait, who hired you? Right. <laughs> who hired them? Who are, who hired I have 16 people you? in court. Right. Oh, crying yeah. out loud! What if it ultimately goes around the cul-de-sac and they end up hiring the guy they're trying to kill <laughs> to, to kill, kill himself, himself. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah, becomes yeah. a suicide? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's like. Oh, I gotta he, hire someone to kill I'm gonna me. Kill but my, he doesn't want to kill. Basically, gonna say I'm gonna kill myself for 500 yen. That's what I was just about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a good deal. It's a so, good deal. So Yang Kisheng, we'll call him Yang K. Yeah. He offered another man, Yang Guangcheng. We'll call him Yang G. Okay. Yang G. So now Yang K Offers has 770 thousand yen. How much do you think he offers? This is Yang. G Chinese SAT to do wow. this. Wow, he's got seven seventy to play with. Three hundred, three hundred thousand. Okay, Jay, what do you think? Five hundred. I think four hundred. I'm going to go right in the middle. He offers Yang G seven hundred thousand wow. yen. Wow. So Whoa. he's leaving himself seventy thousand. He just doesn't want to do this at yeah, all. At all. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, do, he just wants gas money. It's that's, found that's, yen. Mm-hmm. Just, right. It's just it's found it yen. where you seven, say yes to something, and you're like, I'll figure it out. Could you have 70,000 yen in your pocket go through the washing machine? Is that enough money to yeah. 70,000? Because it's a like, coin, right? Yeah, it's one. I don't know. I just want to know how busy are these men? They can't do one murder. No, I mean, one. they I keep know. they keep putting it off. I just think we don't murder like we used to. <sighs> this is how trickle down economics is supposed to work, also. <laughs> just so everyone understands. Literally is. This is the only time it's ever worked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but meanwhile, we're four deep on the hitman, uh-huh. and the last hitman's getting a nice amount of money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, he would be because Yang Shen offered a fifth hitman. No! Man. Come yes. on, Dan. Now you're uh-huh. just making oh. shit up. Ling Zhang Zhang Si. Uh-huh. I tried. Uh-huh. How much do you think Yang Ji <laughs> offered Ling 
to kill Mr. Way. God, I wish I knew their names. This really sounds like one of my daughter's math problems. Mm-hmm. I know. How much did Yang? But can't you kind of see this as some Yang sort of G like offer Ling Z to kill Way? So 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 000, 000. Yeah, He's got seven hundred to play with. He's got seven hundred to play with. Six hundred thousand. Yeah. I Again, think I... found Yen. Yeah. Found Yen. <laughs> Six fifty. He offered Ling. A hundred thousand. Oh, yeah. so this is the money. greedy guy. This, is, uh, this is the greedy guy. I'm going to take the chunk. He's going to keep, he's gonna keep know, 600 That's thousand. so good. <laughs> you know who's greedy in this whole lineup right here just by what they're charging the sub. It's like a, it's like a greed Rorschach But imagine test. go all the way back up to, to G, our first guy, who's like, hey, man. He's getting asked by way. When are we killing this guy? <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Oh, it's Seven happening. More it's people happening. To talk. It's Let me just happening. send a text. Right. <laughs> When's Do you think happening? they're on a group chat? <laughs> a group chain? This, this to me though feels like a like Soderbergh or Cohen Brothers movie. It's because it's you start out every I would say it's this, a every, difficult plan. Right. <laughs> Most Cohen Brothers movies exist on this one line. Ready? Somebody does something wrong and then tries to cover it's it up. It's this. That's not what the plan was. Yeah, exactly. it's every call is like, but that's not what we that's agreed what to. Saying. It well, yeah. it went awry. I saw, I heard shots, and then now we're right. right. I decided that's, to wing it. That yeah. wasn't the deal. Yeah, I offered someone else. Look, you asked for this, we took care of it. But you haven't taken care of it. That's what this all. <laughs> okay, they have not taken care of it. Right. So, Z goes to Yang, who goes to another Yang, who goes to Ling, and I think I'm forgetting somebody. Mm-hmm. Instead of carrying out the murder, no. Ling go. met up with Mr. Wei in a cafe and told him there was a hit on him and proposed a plan for the two of them to fake his own murder. Come that, on! It did come all it the way came back. All the way back. Come on! So to fake his be, own. Because he's only guy. getting 100,000 yen. Right. So why wouldn't he give away the plan? Think I'm going to kill someone for this little? But what's uh-huh. he want to split it point. with Mr. Wei? No, he's, no he's, he wants to save his life. Save his life. He goes, so it, you I'm are right, though. Jason life. called this. We've come all, all the, the way, way back. the cul-de-sac. To, to Ling to being like, 100,000 yen. I'm just going to keep way. the guy alive. Yeah. Go to the way. Right. <sighs> it's the only way. Mr. Wei way. Ag- <laughs> agreed to pose, gagged and bound, for a photo that Ling could take back to Yang before later reporting the case to police. I really want him to then... Uh, make a whole calendar of shots, sell sure. that, yep. and make an additional seven hundred thousand yen, <laughs> just on calendar sales of way yeah, but bound the people and you would hire to do the calendar would then hire Have another someone else calendar to print company. it, yes. yeah. and then at the print shop it says it's you either could do cheap it too, or it's good fast or right. good. <laughs> <laughs> the case initially went to trial in 2016, but the six defendants were acquitted due to a lack of evidence. You have all the people. What evidence? Uh-huh. Yeah, but they didn't do it. Prosecutors appealed against the decision, and a second trial lasted three years. But here's the thing. It doesn't matter that they didn't do it. They were going to do it, attempted and money murder. changed hands. That's attempted murder. Here's what mm-hmm. I love. Tan, well, they got him after that second three-year trial. Tan, who hired the original hitman, was sentenced to five years in prison, mm-hmm. while Z, the first hitman, was sentenced to three years and six months. Yang K... <laughs> Tell me they did it based on the money. Just, uh, Just Almost, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yang K and Yang G were sentenced to three years and three months. Mo was sentenced to three years, and Ling was sentenced to two years and seven months. They went, they like, went down, down the line. line. Yes. Again. How involved were you on the chain? Was the guy who told him about the murder? He got two years, seven okay, months. Fine. But yeah. here's the thing: it's the same offer for the same crime yeah. every single time. <laughs> right. it, the amount of money shouldn't have any effect on the time and, in prison. Yeah. And the guy who agreed to fake his own death, he should get a year in jail. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. for fraud. Give him a year. Uh huh. Oh, that's our first story. Wow, wow. My that God. is dumb people town handling a murder. Right. And just mishandling a murder. Because in the town, you would have where, like, everybody's been hired to do this. No one's doing it. So we don't do stories on here where people get seriously hurt and whatnot. So to me, this is a uh, an experience where dumbness saved a life. Oh, for you sure. know what I mean? Right. It saved several people. Well, Stupidity and inaction. Here's the thing. In the United States of America, no matter how much you're getting paid, you get the same attempted murder sentence. Mm-hmm. It's right. the same like minimum 25 to life or whatever it Thank is. Thank God this right. happened in China. But it happened in China. There you go. And so they must have known, well, I'm going to get less time right. if this goes awry. So I I'm going to call this smart people town. If you're going <laughs> I mean, att- att- to attempt smart. a murder, do it in China. That's, That's what it. we learned. All right. There's story one down in the books. Ryan Stout is with us. We're going to talk about his new album, how you can get it on the other side of this break. Stay with us.
Stick around, make a sound for more dumb people town. It's a trying time that challenges all of our basic assumptions. However, one thing that brings us all together is our common humanity. Now, more than ever, teams must come together and work together to solve big challenges. And Trello is here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format. Plus, tons of features that make working with your team functional and just plain fun. Teams of all shapes and sizes in companies like Google, Fender, and even Costco all use Trello to collaborate and get work done. With Trello, you can work with your team wherever you are, whether it's at home or in an office. No matter what device you're using, computer, tablet, or phone, Trello syncs across all of them, so you can stay up to date on all the things your team cares about. Keep your workflow going from wherever you are with Trello. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Trello dot com. Working remotely can be a challenge, especially for teams that are new to it. How do you deal with your work environment being the same as home while staying connected and productive? And then there's your newest coworker, the cat. Well, your friends at Trello have been powering remote teams globally for almost a decade. At a time when teams must come together more than ever to solve big challenges, Trello's here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format, plus tons of features that make working with your team functional and just plain fun. Trello keeps everyone organized and on the same page, helping teams communicate, focus, and connect. Teams of all shapes and sizes at companies like Google, Fender, Costco, and likely your favorite neighborhood coffee shop all use Trello to collaborate and get work done. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Trello dot com. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Dumb People Town. Sklar Brothers here with Daniel Van Kirk. Uh, we want to mention a couple important dates coming yeah, up. Yeah, we do. Uh, Randy and I, when is this dropping? Is it this next will drop week? after that. So we had a great time at Flappers. Thanks to everyone who came. Thank you for everyone who came. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it would have probably like the third week of December right now is where we're sitting, like a month out from yeah. Sketchfest. Yeah, so the Sketchfest on Friday night, January 17th at the Marine yes. Marines Memorial Theater, theater which yep. is a huge theater in San Francisco. It's a nice one, too. Four or 500 seats. We're doing a live Dumb People Town, and come we want on. everybody out there. We're sort of fin- finalizing the guest list on that, but please come. Guests will be great. The show will be great. It's part of Sketchfest. It's, I think, the... Second weekend of Sketchfest. Friday night, 7.30 show. We want to see everybody, all of our San Francisco peeps out there. So Heck please yeah. come to that. And uh, we have other shows coming up in, in March. In March, we're doing a three-city tour. In June, we're doing a three-city tour. In March, it's Minneapolis, Milwaukee, and St. Louis. Mm-hmm. And in June, it's a Vancouver, in- Seattle, and Portland. Pacific Northwest. If you live anywhere near those cities, come up. Come see these shows. I we're, know. The more we're able to sell out these shows and do the more we'll keep coming back. So, yeah. And it's a new show every single time. What we've learned from our shows in Brooklyn at uh, the Bell House is that we love coming back. They only get better. Yeah. So uh, so do that. Uh, let's talk about Ryan's stuff. What I'm holding I'm in not going to be anywhere no. because no. Uh, I didn't sell out any shows, guys. That's okay. right, I didn't sell out any, so I can't come back. This no. is the artwork on Ryan Stout's album, which is a- Man in the suit. Man in the suit. With a Maple Thorpe microphone as a penis. Uh-huh. Uh, and Maplethorpe was really into stand-up comedy. I mean, that's <laughs> right. what we didn't know or, about. Yeah, the or th- penises. Or One th- or the other. He was really into penises. Uh, this is fantastic. Your new album, Man in the Suit. Uh, tell us a little about it. Where did you record it? And- I did it at Acme in Minneapolis. It's my One third album. Also, uh, they've all been recorded at Acme. Really? So they oh, all nice. sound... Well, you guys Great. did... We did our first album at Acme. First one? Yes. And the other two, nay. Uh, the other two in... One in L.A. Sklar Maps was in L.A. Actually, uh-huh. a... Five, five right, right. six, actually. So we but did. I, let's, I'm just trying to focus on the first three guys. Uh, Jesus, so man. first one was Minneapolis. Second one was in L. A. Third, Third one, one was Denver Comedy Works. Yeah, that's a and good one. The fourth was in uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. Yep. The fifth Comedy was in on Sh- State. Or no, no. We did at the Majestic, Majestic Theater. Theater. The uh-huh. fifth was in Chicago, Lincoln Hall. Lincoln Hall. And the sixth was we did was uh, the uh, recorded all around the all country. around the country a bunch of clubs. But and uh, by the way, for anybody listening, I am on pace because you guys. Had three albums out before I released my first one. So, but that's only so now, three. But but we're you got to split those up. So I have three and Jay has three. Oh, and you have okay. Three, so I have we're three. Third yeah, yeah. Daniel Dan has Dan's one. Got one. I got yeah. one. 
Yeah, that's a good one. Thanks, Nice Diane. job, uh, Diane. Third, al- third <laughs> album's a big deal. Uh, third album, awesome. they say, Jimmy Iovine says the third album is the third. That is the big one that you need to. And by the way, the numbers reflect that. Like, if you look at my Spotify, this has been by far the most popular one. That's fantastic. And, uh, and I was always kind of obsessed with the iTunes charts, yeah. not just as a comedy fan. Sure. Because if you go and you look at the iTunes charts, the people who are on there most consistently, I mean, obviously, have mm-hmm. at least three or more albums. Sinbad. Yeah, Sinbad's on Sin there. good. Except for Greg Giraldo. Greg, Giraldo. Greg Giraldo's on there constantly, which yeah, is two I albums. Mean, well, but uh, out of 200 spots. So I was excited to see what would happen with that. And sure enough, it was the album that stayed up there the longest. That's and awesome. if you have the most for sale, guess what? You sell the most stuff. Well, here's the deal. Uh, yeah. Ryan Stout is one of the best. Let's talk about him like he's not here. Like someone. Okay. Let's talk about him like Way put a hit on him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tan put a hit on him. Uh, no, uh, one of the best joke writers out there. Like phenomenal jokes. It's, it's a mixture, in my opinion, of in- incredibly specific point of view and great point of view and then phenomenal jokes to back it up. Like just, I can't recommend this enough if you're a stand-up comedy fan. If you're listening to this show, you, uh, you're you definitely a stand-up comedy fan. Get it and rate man it and in the it. Suit, man in the Suit, rate it, review it. If you're on Spotify, listen to it. If you're on Apple, listen to it, but then also do the rate and review. And, and by the way, just check out the artwork on the internet if you're <laughs> listening Fantastic. to something now because uh, if you go check out Robert Maplethorpe's Man in Polyester Suit and Hilarious. then check out Ryan Stout's Man, man in the, the suit, suit and just compare them side by side, you'll realize how much effort I put into this one visual joke. And it's comedy. And it's comedy. I've and, never I never put so much effort into like a visual gag before. It's great. And and I will say there is nothing pornographic about your photo. Correct. Yeah, no, I actually cleaned it up. It's yeah. only suggestive. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It's only, hey, you got to you got to connect the dots. America, but also, you know, with like, world. with 2019 the way it is and people getting so touchy about it. I sure. I of course have gotten like young college age girls be like this is sexist. Is it and though? they go off on a tangent about how male it is and how well, it aggressive is it is. It is kind of aggressive. And and then I smile I go it's a parody. And right. they that young girl goes, "What?" And you it's say a parody, it's a, and then well, I explain it to her, and then, then she goes, you probably, well. You probably okay. introduced to a lot of people Maplethorpe, and right. so Maplethorpe should be thanking you. Sure, but also the reason I See picked Maplethorpe right. revolves around the time that he was doing photography and where he was trying to do photography, and he had a lot of conservative people mm. say, no, you can't do that because we have to protect people like families and children, mm-hmm. and uh, we went, well, we're going to put it in this safe space called a gallery, Yeah. so you have to be an adult to go in, Right. and that's how I was always I always felt about comedy, which is, well, you we're in this. An adult nightclub. Well, no, you do. Yeah. That is so, such a thing. Like the the mm. the the unwritten contract that people enter into when they go into a comedy club is: I know that this person is going to be testing out ideas, and I know this person might say things that will make me feel uncomfortable. I know that by sitting in this seat, uh-huh. I've agreed to that. I'm to choosing to, to be here, and just can, the way you choose in the art gallery to see the penis in the Robert Maplethorpe right, photo. Right, You're right. making the same choice as a consumer, and you can also quietly leave whenever you want. Sure, absolutely, or quietly disagree. Yeah, and then yeah. walk out and be like, "Man, I like ninety percent of that. Ten percent I didn't agree with." I had a, I had a girl walk out of a show I was doing in Hong Kong, and uh, she just quietly got up and left. And afterward, I asked the door guy, "I said, what happened to that girl?" And he said, "Oh, uh, British girl, about twenty two. I said, "I don't know where she was from. Where yeah, in Hong yeah, Kong? She could yeah, have been from yeah, anywhere. anywhere." And uh, she, he said, "Oh, she asked where the exit was, and I told her." And then I said, are you coming back? Because I thought maybe she'd be going to have a cigarette. And she said, no. And I said, is everything okay? And she went, oh, no, um, this this just isn't for me. That's a great and I was way like, to... That's, I love that Thank girl. Thank you. She and I can have tea together. She yes. didn't try to interrupt the show, didn't no. try to tell all the other audience me. members, like, you're wrong, this is bad, he's bad, the jokes are bad, you're stupid. It was just like, oh, this is not my I would I'm just. Go I would just find her afterwards and say, so it's good to know that good comedy is not for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to know that uh-huh. high-level <laughs> great jokes and great is not for you. It's just, we now have Now we it. know what you like. Some people don't like caviar. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some people don't like Dom Perignon. Some and people- you know, Simple palates can't handle it. You know what I call those people? Dumb. Let's jump into another story. Ready? Second story sent in by Adam V at just for DPT. That's his handle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Flying V. Fly, uh, the J- Flying V. J U S T, the number four, then DPT. He's, Adam V. You've got a researcher and writer out there yes. that you didn't know you had. Mm-hmm. Our, we call them our dumb boots on the ground. And they are not dumb, but the boots themselves are dumb and they're researching dumb. Right. So thank you. Uh, I forgot to say that last article came from BBC.com. This okay. one, though, comes from 9news.com. Nice. All right. German? Sydney. German site? Nine. Yeah. <laughs> no news. Nine news. No news. Nine news. Nine, Nine news. No news. Uh, Sydney, Australia. Ooh. 
For nearly two, uh, for nearly two people, I don't know why it says that. For this, nearly two people, this dumb people town is very international. It is. I copied and pasted. But there's thing. dumb in everywhere, every corner of the world, every corner. Okay. Here we go. I was reading the wrong thing. Uh, in, in Australia, people's lives go down the toilet in the, the other, other direction. direction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just need to say that. A man didn't know he Up had- the toilet? <laughs> no, <it's laughs> no it just flushes oh, a bit I, different, I see. different atmosphere. A man didn't know he had a bag of weed in his nose until doctors took it out, according to a case in the British Medical Journal. This is Australia's, uh, I didn't know I was pregnant. Right. Mm-hmm. That show's mm-hmm. fantastic. It's I like, didn't know I had the weed in there. I, I didn't know I was a mule. Right, That's sure. basically what this show is. Uh, would you I go- shoved it in my mouth and then I sneezed and it I just disappeared. I gone. thought I swallowed it. I thought I was magic. Just for fun, going on whatever gut feeling you have, do you want to guess how long this guy had a bag of weed uh, of course in his guess. nose that he was unaware was there? What was the? Was it Portlandia? You put I'm your sc- weed in here? <laughs> no, that was... Uh- what was that? It's the state. It was the, the state. state. Oh, yeah. Camarino. Yeah. Put your, was, put your weed yeah. in here. All right. Uh, I know that's I dip my balls in it. That's I dip anyway. my balls in it. You put your weed, weed in here is- I've always been a- I think that's Portlandia. It's just- I like the one pudding. Remember the pudding? 200 and- That might have been John Stewart in Half Baked. You put your really? guys. What's this like sketch comedy? You guys are talking about? I don't watch sketch comedy. Uh, you, get, you quietly get I'm up and in a British accent, you're like, "It's not for me. It's not, not for me." me. Uh, <laughs> Stand up purist. I, so, how long was the weed in his nose? How what do you think, long? Ryan? I'm guessing three years. Three, three years. years from Ryan's I'm gonna guess seven hundred thousand yen. Put your weed in here yen. as SNL. Uh huh. Put your weed in here as SNL. Oh, okay. I'm gonna guess seven hundred thousand yen. Okay. Uh, I think it's <laughs> <laughs> it was in there for three months. Okay. Three months. But Stout is maybe right because three, I can't tell you what I did three years ago. Well, and if you don't know, a bag of weed is in there. Right. If someone said, what happened in 2016? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Uh, doctors took out the bag of weed from the man's nose after it had been lodged in there for play along townies because this answer is. 18 years. Wow. wow. So as a baby, he got it in there as a baby. That was the thing. That seems obvious now. Years. And by the way, how do you know it's been in there 18 years? It doesn't have an expiration date on there. Well, that bag of weed could vote in this CNN country. reports that the man got the drugs from his girlfriend when she visited him in prison. There's so many other holes you could have used. <laughs> oh, my God. So many other holes. He if put- you are a woman mm-hmm. and your boyfriend goes to prison. Yeah. Or if you are a woman and you meet a man who's in prison, mm-hmm. that's on you. <laughs> it is. It's, it's all on you. Uh, CNN reports the man got the drugs from his girlfriend when she visited him in prison. Mm-hmm. He put the pot in his nose to get it past the guards, but wasn't ever able to get it back out. If this isn't an ad for baggies, you know, like sandwich uh-huh. bag, like yes. cr- you know, glad sandwich you can bags, barely feel them. I don't. <laughs> a, you barely feel them. They last. Yeah, <laughs> they last. Mm-hmm. We put a bag of weed in this prisoner's nose 18 years 18 ago. Years ago and he, look at it today. I mean, they you should, think it's going to hold your- smoke it. Do you like, think so, they should take it <laughs> the to doctor. like- The doctor. The doctor should smoke it yes. right there. And be like, still good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You like, think just these bags- a huge puff and he's like- You think these bags won't hold your kid's lunch peaches? Still like good. <laughs> I like the idea of the doctor treating him, like just smoking in front of him. Like, <laughs> oh, is this your weed, nerd? Yeah. <laughs> nerd. Yeah, bitch. You want me to call the police or is this mine now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there is a little bit of a finder's keeper. Right? This is my thing, though. There was a time where he was like, I put weed in my nose two days ago and it hasn't come out. There was a time when he was like, about a week ago, <laughs> I had 10 days, I put a weed in my nose and it hasn't come out. If this guy isn't dealing with this problem, right. what? A, yeah, he's, well, there he's is a prison, stack of, of, of weird bills on my desk that I just... Haven't been able to get to for uh-huh. a little while. I know that feeling. <laughs> you know the feeling, but it's not in your nose. It's not in it's my not nose. Your nose. It's not in your but nose. That's the other. That's the key you don't here. He's, through your bills. He's in prison, right? So he doesn't have a lot of choices. He can't go to the warden and be like, "I tried to smuggle that's weed true. in and it hasn't come out." So he was in a situation where he had to kind of, after time, assume bury well, I guess the it's truth. Gone. Bury the truth. I guess it's gone. And then he believed the truth. Uh huh. He believed in them. No, you got to get in there, and start digging around. Do you think he was excited when they pulled it out? He was like, "Oh my, my God, God, I worried about." That for so long. Twenty dollars. He's a gross pinata. Mm -hmm. Um, The medical report showed the man had problems with his nose, like chronic sinus infections and symptoms of nasal obstruction. Well, yeah, he had nasal obstruction, of course. If you're not snoring now, 
while he thought he had just ingested the weed over the next 18 years. You were right, Ryan. He just thought it just went away. 18 years, it actually turned into a rhinolith. Mm. Rhinoliths are stones that form around foreign objects in people's nasal cavities. I thought a rhinolith was a statue of Ryan Stout in front of a comedy club. Uh-huh. There With it some is. gems on it. Yeah. yeah. The team of doctors said the man found out what was really going on inside his nose after he went to get treated for what he thought was a different problem. Being high all the time? Uh, yeah. How about being in prison? <laughs> yeah. There's your first What's this up? lump on my face? I think he got out eventually. <laughs> What's the this re- bag under my nose? The report said the man was referred to an ear, nose, and throat specialist after a CT scan he was getting for a headache showed the spot in the nose where the rhinolith had developed. Yeah. After the rhinolith was taken out, doctors found a rubber capsule containing degenerate vegetable slash plant matter in it, mm-hmm. according to the report. That would be the weed. There's uh-huh. the weed. CNN, it lasts. I you know. put your weed in here, man. <laughs> CNN, How much weed was it? CNN said the man was questioned about it, but rem- he remembered putting the weed in his nose when he was serving time. So the moment you get out of jail, Go to a, doctor. to a doctor. He doesn't want to go back to prison. That's not a doctor. Those aren't the same thing. That weed has been. Oh, you're saying that for the weed, weed is, in his nose, the doctor's yeah, going to ring yeah, him up? You're that holding. weed has been in his nose so long that weed is now legal. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> you got any mushrooms up there? You're grandfathered in, buddy. Uh-huh. Um, the researchers say they think this is the first case of a person acquired marijuana, a prison acquired marijuana based rhinolith. I hope that's some sort of. He wins a t- t-shirt. Prison acquired. Yes. Rhino-based monolith. Yes. <laughs> Marijuana-based. That's Marijuana my next based. album, everybody. Rhino-based monolith. Uh, <laughs> Marijuana-based rhinolith. <laughs> yeah. Because most people smuggle drugs through their mouths, and they are later released through their gastrointestinal They shit tract. it out. Yeah. Yeah. CNN reported that uh, three months after the surgery, the man's nasal problems are completely gone. Well, isn't that nice? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. That's story number two, guys. Good God. Isn't that crazy? We cured an ex-con. I mean, the truth is, this is a a story about knowing yourself. Right. And caring enough about yourself that you know what's going into your body. You got that weed? Uh, I think so. I think so. It might be gone. Maybe. What do you mean it might be gone? Maybe. That, like, I think... When his girlfriend gave him the weed, she said, "This is good weed. There's this is nothing to sneeze at." <laughs> and Jason, <laughs> at Ryan Stout, <laughs> send all your hate there. Uh, that's yeah, it. That story, story number, number two, two down in the books. Can you give us a little teaser what we're going to see in the final segment? Oh, uh, we just have a dumb person who's bored. Uh, that to uh, me is a good combo. I was going to say bad combo. Oh, bad <laughs> yeah. combo. Good yeah. combo. Us. Something's going to end bad up on fire. Bad combo them. Yes, bad yeah. combo them. It's just spare time is the devil's idol. Or whatever. I don't know. Uh, we'll be back with more Dumb People Town. Ryan Stout right after this. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Hey guys, welcome back to Dumb People Town. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to ri- remind people, even though the holidays are a little in our rear view or right around us right now, yeah. upon us as sure. we speak, uh, go to fluffycrate.com and you can oh, get yeah. all Dumb People Town stuff, all Sklarbro Country stuff. Mm-hmm. And for uh, people who haven't joined the Patreon, it is a blast. We give we do just an episode every Monday that yep. drops. That's just me, Jay, and Dan. Jay and I get the stories, and we give. And Dan plays along. Oh, it so is such fun. a blast to get that extra content. And there are different levels. We have uh, friends who come and see our live shows uh, for free. They get a free ticket to see any live yeah. show if you're at a certain level. Lots of great stuff. Meet you go and to Patreon.com and look up uh, Dumb People Town. Do that again. Dan, is it way better hearing the stories? And guessing? It's a whole different It's level. fun. Different. It's a whole yeah. different... Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. great to flip the and script. are you guys giddy when you're like, oh, giddy. we already know giddy it's going to happen? It's like uh-huh. having weed in your nose. It's like exactly years. and not knowing about it. Again, I'm going to show you this. It is fantastic. It is the new Ryan Stout album. I want everyone to pick it up. Man in the Suit. If you like comedy, uh, this will... I'm telling you, if you're not... If a, you like your comedy funny, then the, <laughs> he serves it up in a funny manner for you. Uh, Ryan Stout, Man in the Suit. Check it out on Spotify. And, uh, check it out on Apple, yeah. wherever you get it. I don't know if it matters to people, but I self-produced it. Um, I, I oh, know yeah. some people that are really matter. into that. that yeah, hands up. I did. I self-produced this one and the second one. I didn't do the first one. It can't be Let this be the that, gateway but... into the other two albums that he's yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But if you want to support a great comedian, a good friend of ours, and someone and that we've always indep- respected. Independent art. You should check out Ryan Stout, Man in the Suit. Let's jump in this last story. Here we now. go. Sent in by Travis Bales, at the Travis Bales. He sends in good ones, this dude. Waukesha, Wisconsin. Love it. Okay. So we've been in China. 
China? Where did the prison one? Do we know Australia? where that? Australia. Australia. Sydney. Yeah. yeah. And now we're, and in, now Wisconsin. we're in Wisconsin. Yeah. Stephen Avery. Uh, <laughs> Waukesha, right outside Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. This comes from KCRG. Mm-hmm. A security guard made a strong case for an idle mind being the devil's playground. I tried to do that. I know you I did. Said, no, no, no. Spare time idle is hands, the devil's workshop. Idle hands, hands are, are the, the devil's workshop. Play group. No. Tools. Idle, idle hands, hands are, are the devil's, devil's workshop. Ha- hands, it's got to be your bowl. Devil hands. Devil hands are the devil idle hands are w- Eric Idle's workshop. workshop. Idle hands. Idle devils are the hands. Play idle shop. Wild is a town. <laughs> Did you guys ever see? Idle is a Jewish. Dreidel Wild. <laughs> Did you see Mon- uh, Monos Hands of Fate? Yes. 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 No. That's hands, the original. Hands of fate. Monos, and you know where it was filmed? Rid- El Paso, Texas, where Monos, I grew up. Hands of Fate is the original. Yeah. Is the original I mean, I Mystery Science El- Theater 3000. Yes, <laughs> yes so exactly. Good. Uh, I never knew that you grew up in El Paso. Jan and I were driving through El Paso one time, and we stayed downtown at like one of those like the old historic, awesome old hotel El Paso sure. or whatever it's called. Right. And they just totally redid the downtown. I they, think. But like the entire downtown was dug up. I'm like, how are people getting around? Like. Dug up into dirt roads. Yeah. Well, the secret is nobody needs to go downtown for anything. There you go. Yeah. That'll do it. It just I keeps our, spreading out. There's a Best Buy on the east side. They yeah. don't have to go and, downtown. And didn't we did we go to Juarez. We did. Yeah, we oh. had it. We, there was a bar where it, I guess- you Both end, sides. You walk into the bar and you're in El Paso, and, and then the when other, you're sitting in the bar, you go to the bathroom in Juarez. In Juarez. Wow. Wow. Really? Really? Take a I, shit on Har- Juarez. What year was, was it? This was like- 99, Mid 90s? 99. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do you that could, anymore. No, you can't. You, could, you couldn't do it in 2000. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we finished. You we, just got in there. I mean, like, like, even the comics that would come to town, they would want to go to Juarez and drink. And the club started going, yeah, that's not a good idea. I mean, we went into the bathroom in Juarez and jammed so much weed up our noses. Mm-hmm. Where is it? You're still now, waiting you know? for it to come out. I, I think it's what gone. happened to it. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a really trouble sleeping, though. All right. Security guard Wisconsin. made a strong case for an idle mind being the devil's playground oh, on Friday yeah, morning. Wisconsin. Yeah. Guarding a bath and body works. Perfect. Why? Because you're in Wisconsin, baby. But, you got to so keep like, that sun ripened raspberry lotion. What, safe. What, he couldn't get a job in Evelyn and Crabtree? <laughs> no. A lot of people forge those 20% off coupons. They do. Yes. They yeah. do. And that that a lot slide. of people try to run out with candles. Like, mm-hmm. there's Quickly. a lot. Yeah. Guarding about a bath and body works. Candle thievery is a big deal. In yeah, he has to tackle like uh, five of, people yeah. a day. Oh, for sure. They just want them Yankees. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Guarding Bath and Body Works to the southwest of Milwaukee during an overnight shift, the man called Waukesha police for help around 2 a.m. Help, help me. I hope that's all he said. Sir, we need more. Sir, I need the police. I need help. I need it from the police. It. Yeah. He it's didn't. bad. <laughs> he didn't need backup. Nope. There wasn't a threat. Nope. He had just handcuffed himself and couldn't get free. <laughs> ah! The guard real- How's he working the phone or radio? Con- speaker. Jesus. Uh, the guard realized he left the keys at home. What is the first thing you should check before <laughs> you I handcuff have keys? anything? So he's handcuffing himself to stuff. Okay, but a man, yeah. for fun. <laughs> he I think he handcuffed himself to himself. Yeah. Oh, you think he just yes. put them both yeah. on? But imagine Let me see how these feel. To, uh-huh. Two a.m. Dan, is when they Dan, call. No, no, Dan. He had to have handcuffed himself to something. Why? Because if you just handcuff to yourself, then you get into your car at the end of the night, you drive home and get the key. Do you think that it's not out of the realm possibility that it didn't even dawn on him? He's like, I'm handcuffed to here now. Like, no, you're just (laughs) I think he handcuffed to you know how like they hold the like the the grate goes down on on Bath and Body Board, Mm -hmm. you know. So I think he handcuffed himself to that. But okay, he calls it two AM. So what do you think? So his shift is just started, probably like three hours ago. So w- right. So when did he ha- like how 10:45? long? Ten forty five. Right away, and then he tried everything he could, everything. and then he gave up at his two. I'm going to solve probably, this problem. His wrist his is probably wrist is bloody. Like this. Yeah, he probably to get like remember the uh, remember the grease YouTube th- videos. Like, oh, you have to dislocate your thumb. Remember the woman who got out of the handcuffs? Like she was naked and she, this is like a story we did a long time ago, naked and like slipped out of the handcuffs and just kept yes. running away. Yes. So this guy wishes he was her. Tiny well, hands. He wished he had tiny hands. I also wonder what was he like, eh, I'm going to put this around here. 
I bet. <laughs> I wonder, like, if it was on my wrist. Uh-huh. Like, if it was on my... Yeah, I and could... he, like, looks around the Get mall, and he's like, hello? <laughs> what, gonna... One click. <laughs> no, we can go three clicks. One click. I think I could get out of one click. Yeah. Go. And then he tries to get out of the one click, and in getting out of the one he click, adds he adds two, two more, more clicks. clicks. Yeah, he's like, oh! oh! Now he's just sweating. Uh... You know, he's like, all right, get the... Where's the keys? He's on the phone with the police. It's pinching! <laughs> it's pinching! <laughs> he's yelling at himself, don't put him on so tight, man! Oh! Oh, Sir, you're you the are the guy. On yourself. But who are you talking to? It's going to go a lot easier if you stop resisting. <laughs> who are you talking to? Me. 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 The guard realized he left the keys at home. He'd only put the cuffs on because he was bored, police told WDJT. Jeez. This guy shouldn't have cuffs. Tell me the store got robbed. But oh, tell me while he's cut, the store gets nothing robbed. he could do about it. He like, has to watch. He's like, "Come on, guys, hey, put it back. Guys, stop. Put it back, or you I'll don't yell need at you." That lotion. You guys well, don't have any empathy right now for me. Uh-huh. Right. I will yell at you from here. Bondage, James Bondage. <laughs> Once police freed him from his own restraints, he hid them from himself in order to not let temptation overcome him. <laughs> he again. hid them in a prisoner's nose. Right. This Eight is times. like this is like when you go to a restaurant and they say, "Please do not touch this plate. It is very hot." <laughs> right. Yeah. And you, your hand, hand goes like, right. I want to see how see. hot. No, come on. It's because because that, really that is you, bullshit. When you're doing that, what you're doing is like, I want to see how much of a liar this person. Well, because <laughs> sometimes they say it. When they have, they're bare handing it to you. Right. But mm-hmm. if you work in a kitchen long enough, you like, my brother, extremely, Vance, build up a callus. Hot plate. Yes. Extremely hot plate. Do Please not, do touch, not this. touch this. And, and your first thing, my kids both are just like, <laughs> but sometimes you have to, to move it, it. And I just go palms. I'm doing like some sort of like shimmy. Like, but he's tap, tap, like, tap. I don't trust myself so not to I touch gotta the plate. Also, these. don't tell that to the cops. Right. I know me. You, yeah, it's more like when the waiter puts down the hot plate and says, don't touch this, but then goes, but let me give it one more. <laughs> I'm just going to give it. Let me give it. Ah, I was ah, right. I was right. I was right. I, was right. I, should or I need to, to go in the kitchen because I know I'm going to touch that again. <laughs> right. I got to get away from that plate because I'm going to put my right, face buddy, on we, it. We got you out. You good the rest of the night? Let mm. me put these. <laughs> we'll put them where? Let me put these somewhere where I can't touch them. Wait, Because the on. keys are still at home, and I know that. <laughs> so you're going to hide them from yourself? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yep. I, I feel like we shouldn't leave you here if you're gonna no, just do this again. You guys no. go. I'll hide it from myself. But you're gonna know where it is if you I'll hide. hide it. I'll do a good job of hiding I'm it. I'm gonna put it with the pillowcases. Why don't, I we, why don't we hang out for a little bit and just yeah, we'll no, make sure no, you, you guys go? go. Yeah. I gotta. You know, he's also like gonna be one of you guys soon. <laughs> like, I don't no, think you, you are. Not. I took the test. Brothers with badges. Yeah. Yeah. We've all been there. Nope. We're not even cousins. We're like the same. No, I'm like. Richard Jewell. Nope. Well, I don't, maybe well, you are. Well, he was a, a hero like who got railroaded. Yeah. You're on the railroad part. I don't know about the hero. <laughs> I'm going to go to the academy. No. no Next yes, year. Sir, no, you're not. You're not. not. Nope. Give I mean, me a recommendation. Can, no. no. You, you can go there. <laughs> now that we've met. <laughs> the, they have days that are open you to the public. You can drive there. Tell mm-hmm. somebody you know me. No. No. We no. Ha- we and you know what? Don't tell anyone you know me. Serve and protect. And yeah, that's like, what we he's do. He's also like, well, I'm glad we finally got to hang out. We didn't we hang, hang out. out. We, did not we hang came out. and rescued you from you. Can, mm-hmm. I, can I email you guys? No. 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 Nope. No. No, join the join the police department's Facebook page. So I just love that he told him I'm going to hide him from myself. Like we're going to be back here in and an he, hour. You're right. Okay. I like the idea that the cops just go to the car and go, "We'll just sit in here." Yeah. Yeah. This, well, this, is, this has become we'll, a stakeout. We'll pull now. around back. It here's, becomes a stakeout. Here's the final sentence. Because it turns out this was not the first time he'd done this. No! <laughs> Jesus. And he's not fired. Handcuff yeah. myself to a wall. By the shame way, that, on me. That handcuff myself to a wall twice. twice. Also shame on me. Shame on me. It's my fault. Yeah. Me once again. Isn't that great? So great. I want to meet him a little bit. I really. Who if you're keeps out employing him? What's his name again? They don't say. They don't oh, say. Shit. You they, know who was from uh, Wisconsin? Hmm. Houdini. <laughs> was he really yeah. the guy yeah, who he, uh, so Eric I, Eric Weiss? He would handcuff himself all the time. Mm-hmm. I was he's think, got a lot of fans in there. <laughs> it's true. Who I'd say it? he's still there. Not so much on the, not good at it, but he's still doing <laughs> he's it. Still doing mm-hmm. his it's job. The tradition's carrying on. Can Houdini be like the new Houdat? 
So it who, could be Houdini. New phone, Houdini. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's yeah, it. That's, that's dumb people. Oh, town. That's dumb people. Those were town. three good ones. That yeah, was inescapable stories. dumb. Yeah, we mm. couldn't escape it, and we knew we were going to come right back to it. That's the way we do it. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Pick up Ryan Stout's album, Man in the Suit. We know we are going to listen to it. Hope you guys have a uh, great holiday season. And uh, oh shit, we got to get back to work. Dumb, 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 dumb. Dum 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 Stick around, make a sound, come down, it's dumb people town. Scarpins Avenue, a podcast, a podcast network.